Well, we just got done touring Abraham Lincoln's house that he lived in with his family right before he became president. It's right behind us there on the corner. It was an awesome tour and it's um, run by the National Parks Association, I think. And they have this whole neighborhood um, preserved as how it was back then. So you can kind of stroll the streets and see how it was yeah. and it's a free tour it doesn't cost anything so that was fun yeah, a lot of history here so you walk around you just think of uh, um, Abraham actually lived lived here and walked around this neighborhood yes. just kind of imagine it yeah and get to, getting to see where his kids played in the house and everything it's just amazing I like to imagine Abraham Lincoln wrestling with his boys right there on the carpet in front of us and the desk where he signed papers on and oh, that's right. I'll yeah. put a picture of that on here yeah. but um, also they showed us the spot where he was standing where he found out he was elected president and then he told them that he'd have to think on it for a while <laughs> but it was, it's interesting really good history here yeah. Abraham and Mary Lincoln bought that stove in 1860 they buy it before they know they're going to Washington Anybody have an opinion about this wallpaper pattern they'd like to share with you? That's the Union Depot behind us here, downtown Springfield. And we have had quite an afternoon, right? Hey, it was fun. Yeah. You can hear the clock tower there. Across the street from the Union Depot over here is the Abraham Lincoln Muse Museum and Library. And we spent a couple hours in the museum which was $15 a person right now. Um, for seniors, it's a little cheaper, I think, so you could look on their website, but it was worth it, I think. Yeah, it was worth it. It was a lot of uh, history, a lot of uh, storytelling yeah. about his life and about his um, critical life, too. Yeah, it went, they had some really, really nice exhibits that they did that were so well done. Yeah. It was kind of a walkthrough. Yeah. First thing we went to a couple of theaters and then talked yeah. about it. And then, um, and then we went through his uh, displays about his life. Right. And the theaters, we couldn't take any video no, in there. No. But they were really good. One had like a holograph. It was talking about his eyes and how his face changed over time. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. And after those five years of his being the political mm -hmm. year in uh, the White House, you can tell his face has changed. There's been, been a lot of pressure on him. Right. And he was depression. And he, he, he was, didn't look the same when he was no. first year. The he president. really aged in a five year period. Yeah. From the time he got inaugurated with his first, um, you know, the first time. And then also until he passed away. Passed away. Very much so. But anyway, it was very much worth it. Yeah. We really liked it and uh, would highly to... recommend it. Yep, yep. Before that, we also got to go and look at his home here in Springfield that he lived in with his wife and four boys. Yep. 
And so that was kind of fun. We got to go and look. see how his house was like. Uh -huh. First it was a log camera he grew up and then um, he went to his house. And after he got then, married. After he got married. Yeah. Yeah, he was uh, a lawyer, obviously. Right. right. <clears throat> and then um, he remodeled at that house twice. Yeah. So, so it was interesting to walk through and yeah. see, you know, some of the, the things inside are reproductions, but some of the things were actual authentic the actual things that they own like the writing desk yep and the first thing we did this afternoon was tour his uh, the cemetery and where they have his tomb yeah his that grave. was very interesting where they buried him mm -hmm. and because they did that because people was trying to steal his body yeah. and the one i did why mm -hmm. um so they had to put it deep about 10 feet down and they put concrete and then they put steel around it so mm -hmm. nobody can get it but there's nobody way to get it down there yeah but it was interesting because we didn't know when we came up to this big uh i don't know what it was called mausoleum <laughs> it was huge Um, the, there was a door. Uh, mm, can we go in there? And sure enough, you can go inside and walk around these hallways and they have beautiful statues and people in there that will tell you all about the place, what it's made of, where the stones came from, everything. Yeah, the granite. The granite. And then you actually get to see where he and his wife and children are entombed. day has been pretty moving. Yeah. I mean, I have always liked Abraham Lincoln as a president. I remember doing a report on him in about sixth grade. And I always thought he was such a cool person. But this just brought it all to light. Yeah, understanding. Mm -hmm. Seeing exactly the streets he walked on, you know, the bedroom where he slept, everything. It was just, and, and just the way they put the presentations together in the museum just mm -hmm. brought home job. I guess how awful the Civil War was and you know how hard it was on the country so yeah. but it was just really good had a yeah, good time today a good time. A lot of reading. very moving and I would highly recommend coming here and exploring we're gonna quickly very drive by the state capitol uh, we can't go inside they have an old capitol building and a new capitol building so I think we're going to drive by those on the way back to the campground, right? Right. <clears throat> so we're hungry. Yeah, we're having eaten all day since breakfast. So. <laughs> we were trying to pack in as much as we could today. And we did a pretty good job. Yeah, we did a good job. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's been a good day. And so we'll go back and check on the kitties. Yeah. I hope you're all doing well. And tomorrow we are off to go to our next campground. Yeah in Kentucky, Kentucky right so it'll be a driving day so you'll probably be seeing this video a day late so we'll be as you're seeing this we're driving to Kentucky anyway thanks again for watching thanks. and God bless